This is a, a 49 year old male who was previously healthy and he presented to an emergency room with complaints of abdominal pain. He had an evaluation done uh, by CT scan in the emergency room that showed that he had uh, diverticulitis, which was likely the cause of the abdominal pain, but he was found to have an eight centimeter left renal mass that was found incidentally. The patient was referred to a, a urologist and had a complete workup, which included a CT scan of his chest, abdomen, and pelvis, appropriate blood work and a urinalysis, and he underwent a left radical nephrectomy. The left radical nephrectomy was performed in September 2015, and the results showed that this was a clear cell carcinoma, a stage PT2A, the Furman grade was three, and a uh, node dissection showed that there was no spread to the nodes. At that point, uh, CT imaging of the chest uh, showed no evidence of metastasis, and he was considered to have stage two clear cell carcinoma of the kidney. The patient was followed uh, with serial imaging studies by the urologist, and in September 2017, was noted to have a local recurrence in the bed at the site of the nephrectomy, as well as a large lytic metastasis in his pubic bone. Further imaging showed multiple pulmonary metastasis. He was referred to a medical oncologist who continued the evaluation and blood work, performance status, and other serologic tests showed that the patient was anemic, had normal calcium, had an adequate performance status of 90, and was considered to be intermediate risk by both MSKCC and international uh, criteria. The medical oncologist started the patient on sinitinib on the standard four week on, two week off schedule. He tolerated therapy relatively well, initially having hypertension, which required implementation of antihypertensives. He also had some hand foot skin reaction, which was managed by topical uh, uh, lubricants. The patient achieved a partial response to sinitinib with, uh, with uh, a stable bone disease, but good response in both the lung metastasis and in the um, local recurrence in the left kidney bed. He was continued on the sinitinib until July 2018, when he was noted to have additional pain in the pubic bone and the imaging on treatment with sinitinib showed that he had progression in the bone, the retroperitoneal mass, and new lung metastasis as well. At that point, the medical oncologist restaged the patient with a full CT scan, chest, abdomen, and pelvis with appropriate blood work, and he was deemed to be intermediate risk by MSKCC criteria based on anemia, but with a normal calcium and a performance status at that time of 80. There were several treatment uh, options that were considered at the time, including exitinib, nivolumab, and cabozantinib. The treating oncologist chose lemvatinib everolimus and initiated systemic therapy with those agents at that time as a second line treatment.